Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Now let's quickly look at the political future of the strongman from Kabushi, Bulldozer, as he commonly you know, referred to him, himself as uh, former Lusaka province minister, Honorable Boman Nonsambo. Now, Kabushi will tomorrow be voting without you on the ballot. You had earlier indicated that there will be no election if you're not on the ballot. Have you accepted defeat, Honorable Boman Nonsambo? Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Andrew and uh, Cheswa, and also uh, good evening uh, uh, viewers uh, out there. Uh, for me, uh, Cheswa and Andrew and viewers out there, I believe uh, in democracy uh, and I believe uh, uh, in uh, rule of law and also I believe in defending the constitution of our country and it's not about me it is not about Bowman in Kabushi constituency that's about the people of Kabushi uh, constituency now that uh, there will be elections tomorrow uh, in Kabushi uh, constituency as Bowman uh, Chilosha Lusambo the bulldozer my political uh, journey does not start and end in parliament I went to Parliament because the people of Zambia, the people of Kawushi, saw potential in Boman Chiloshalusambo, the bulldozer. That's why I was given an opportunity to save the people of Kawushi for two uh, the, the terms. I won in 2016 with a landslide, and I won in 2021 with a landslide. And I'm the only MP since Zambia was created to return the city in Kabushi constituency. So for me, my political uh, journey, it's very bright. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And my concentration uh, as a politician, I can't uh, limit my, uh, my, my concentration on a member of parliament. Uh, my plan actually was the 2021 was my last uh, uh, term to serve in Kabushi constituency because I wanted other uh, residents of Kabushi constituency to serve the people of Kabushi constituency. So for me, uh, I have a political uh, a future and that's where I will concentrate. Are you, are you saying that, um, Honorable Sam, are you saying that um, you wanted to end saving the people of Kabushi in 2021. I didn't get you clear there. 2026. 2026. That is that was my, uh, so my you, plan. So, 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 so your plan was to, to save the people of Kabushi for only f five years, only terms. up to 20, only two terms, up to 2026. That's all. That's all. This was. So, uh, Yes, yes, so, 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 so what, what, uh, what next? Um, because now uh, it seems you, you will now not be on the ballot tomorrow. Uh, does this mean that you still have one more term to fight for? I have a lot of constituencies in Zambia, uh, Cheso. It's not only Kabushi constituency. Remember in Lusaka, where you are sitting now, mm. Munari constituency is ready for me. Mpongwe constituency is ready for me. Uh, let me say Copper Belt Province, all the constituencies are ready for me. So for me, I'll choose what to do, which constituency or which position am I going to serve the people of Zambia from now going forward. Well, it seems like the bulldozer has been bulldozed by the courts because you, Honorable Boman Nusambo, said that there will not be elections uh, in Kabushi if a bulldozer is not on the ballot. Elections are going on tomorrow without you on the ballot. Uh, thank you very much, Andrew. If you recall very well, for me and my team, we respect the constitution, we respect the outcome of the court's decisions. Remember when the, the seat was nullified in Indola, our statement was we have accepted the outcome of this uh, 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 
uh, judgment from uh, Judge Mosona. And uh, we promised the people of Zambia that uh, we will pursue this case um, uh, going forward, and which we did. We went to uh, the con court, and the con court had to uphold uh, the decision of the lower court, the, the, the high court. Uh, for us, we respect the rule of law. We respect uh, uh, men and women in judiciary. That is where we stand. We want to it's, put It's, it's quite ironic case. because the people have been asking, and uh, perhaps, you know, these suspicions would breed what people think perhaps is true honorable bomber and some said they say look it's very unlikely for the bulldozer to be quiet when this is happening to him others have gone to extents of alleging that leaving goma of state house the political advisor to the president met with yourself to strike a deal not to contest the by-election kabushi in order for some of your corruption charges to be dropped i'd like to find out tonight how true these allegations are because it is very unlikely for the bulldozer to keep quiet and you've been quiet from the time that these you know uh, petitions in court have been happening are you striking a deal with the upnd for some of the charges of corruption that you've been slapped with to be dropped i have only two positions which i can occupy in upnd one is to remove uh, Madam Mutarena Rumango from her position as the vice president and occupy that position. The other seat is the seat of the presidency. So there is nothing that I can negotiate uh, with uh, uh, Comrade uh, Levy Ngoma. And all that uh, Marisha story, which was on the, uh, the social media, I bumped into that story and I was laughing. I said, oh. What can we negotiate with Comrade uh, Levin Goma? And uh, the people of Zambia, they but, are aware. But don't you think the, the, the quietness uh, from you lately, the quietness from you, Honorable Lusambo, lately breeds the suspicions that perhaps there's something happening in the background and that deals you're striking with the UPND? Why have you been quiet? No, no, no. no. Not at all. I've, I've been reflecting on so many things. You know, I'm in court uh, uh, each and every day. I have to look after my uh, my family as well. Uh, I was out of uh, uh, parliament. So I had a lot of things uh, 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 on the plate, and I'm still having a lot of things on the plate. So definitely uh, my quietness cannot be uh, misinterpreted to uh, having uh, any dark corner meetings uh, with uh, the UPND. I mm. am a bulldozer. And being a bulldozer, it's not a small thing. So for me, I, uh, the only thing which I can assure the people of Zambia is that uh, politics and a politician is not about parliament. Politician is the... person who has a heart for the people to the people uh, the people and that is exactly mm. what uh, uh, we are doing and saving the people does not mean parliament saving the people you can save the people in any capacity as a politician whether in the political party where they give you position to save the people that position must be used genuinely to save the people of zambia so it's not about uh, it is not about parliament P -p -p we have uh, people who are uh, in government today some of them they have never been to uh, to, to 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 parliament but today uh, they are ministers uh, by virtue of being appointed by the president so serving the people it's not all about uh, uh, being uh, a mp member of parliament uh, for me i've enjoyed uh, uh, being member of parliament for Kabushi constituency, I've worked and I've worked for the people uh, with all my heart, genuinely. And the people of Kabushi constituency, when you go there, they will tell you that uh, this bulldozer he is the man. And this bulldozer, there is no person who will come to Kabushi to beat his works. Put in context with what what you said earlier on, would it be correct to suggest that you are in the UPND vice presidency, or perhaps you are in the top job of the UPND? Not at all. Not at all. I have my own uh, the political future. 
and that is the the, the, the political uh, the journey which I want to pursue. For me, my interest is uh, looking at your political future still in Kabushi. Yes, you claim that uh, you, you can contest in any other constituency. But I mean, the elephant mm. in the room at the moment is Kabushi. Your lawyers mm. claim that they may mm. just challenge this particular election. Mm. Depending on the outcome, mm. if the outcome, outcome rather turns out to be in your favor, uh, will you still be interested to stand for the people of Kabushi one more time? It's not about me, uh, Chesu, uh, Andrew, and the viewers out there. It's not about Bowman. It's about the people of Kabushi, how they feel. If they want Bowman to save them, it is them. It's up to them. Do you, to still, say do we you, want still, do you still want to save the people of Kabushi, despite uh, what has happened, uh, you know, a, a, at the moment? Do you still want to save the people, the people of, of Kabushi? The people, the people of Kabushi and Bowman, Lusambu, we are a family okay and uh, that is a family affairs in kabushi constituency so if you are not part of the people of kabushi constituency you can't save the people of kabushi constituency you're supposed to be part of the family you're supposed to understand the people's needs you're supposed to know the type of people you are dealing with you're supposed to be there always you're supposed to calm down and uh, interact uh, with the people and i can assure the people uh, of zambia that uh, we have for uh, uh, we, we we created a very strong bond with the people of kabushi and it will be very difficult for any person to break that uh, bond which uh, there's, there's, uh, we there's have obviously created. there's obviously so, there's obviously going to be a new leader after tomorrow because i mean you're obviously not on the ballot would you be promising the people of kabushi to come back stronger in 2026 uh the people of kabushi they know me better and if they will need me to save them uh, uh in the next uh, uh, two years or so uh i'll be willing to save the people of kabushi constituency are you willing to say to my heart mm. This is what I'm answering uh, uh, Cheswa. I'm saying I'll be willing to save them because they are dear to my heart. Let, 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 let me come to something that you've openly you know, spoken about. You speak of the fact that there are two bulldozers in Africa, one in Tanzania that died and yourself. And uh, according to you, you are destined to be the president of this, of, of this republic. I'd like to understand the status of your bid of becoming president. Where are we in terms of the bulldozer becoming the president of the Republic of Zambia? But you are in the planning committee, Andrew, so you're supposed to know all these things. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you want to remove yourself from the planning committee, Andrew? Oh, you, uh, you, you, you want to add me in the planning committee? You are all, you are, you are already there. Cheshu is there. A no, lot no, no, no. Uh, uh, I would lo love to distance myself from uh, your planning committee. Uh, my job here is to ask you the questions, uh, and, and, I, yeah. and, I, and I completely yeah. distance myself from, from being in, the, in your planning committee. Uh, but but I think okay. for me, my, my, my yeah, but, uh, I, I would love uh, to have uh, a ride on Andrew's question. I would, I would love to mm. have a ride on Andrew's question. I mean, you had expressed mm. interest to mm. stand as uh, a presidential candidate on the patriotic front ticket. Do you still have the interest to stand on the PF ticket? Yes, at the yes, convention? I have the interest. Yes, I have the interest, 100%. The interest is there. And uh, uh, it's not about me, actually. It's about the people themselves. It's about the structures. It's about uh, uh, the sympathizers of the party who have uh, uh, approached uh, uh, the Bowman, Chirosha, Lusambo, the bulldozer, to try and save uh, the, the, the the patriotic branch. But it's up to the delegates who will be going to the convention if they will see a potential in this uh, young uh, uh, energetic man, a Lambabu, to be the head of the political party. It's up to it's up to them. But I can assure the people of Zambia that uh, the future, the political future for Bowman Chirosha Lusambo is not ending here because uh, my uh, journey started uh, some time back and it is not about being uh, a, a, a member of parliament but achieving 
uh, the bigger uh, 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 thing in the political uh, fraternity. What is your message to the people of, of Kabushi? Obviously, they'll not see you on the ballot you know, tomorrow. What is your word to the people of Kabushi as, as they go to, to contest? Uh, many are suggesting, uh, different political analysts are suggesting that perhaps there could be possibility of voter apathy. Are you advising people of Kabushi to go in numbers and choose their leaders? What is your word to the people of Kabushi? Uh, it is very difficult for me to advise the people of Kabushi at the moment because uh, the situation is very tense in Kabushi constituency. So for me, uh, my job is to keep quiet because the people of Kabushi, they are very annoyed. The people of Kabushi, they wanted uh, uh, to see their man on the ballot. You know, we have fought this uh, battle uh, from the High Court when the city was nullified to the Corn Court when we uh, uh, we appealed for the seat. We have been moving from one court to another. And uh, today, uh, the, the, the position is that uh, tomorrow there will be election in Kabushi. Uh, constituency so it's not about me to advise the people of kabushi constituency at a moment who we'll have for an opt time for us to go and meet the people of kabushi constituency i hope and trust that after the, the after tomorrow's elections i'll be coming back home and make sure that i go back down to Kabushi constituency to go and meet our people. If possible, I will uh, uh, push for a permit to have a rally in Kabushi constituency just to thank the people for the opportunity time they gave me to save them for the past six and a half years. So for me, I'll be doing that immediately I'm down there. Is this a clear indication that you are clearly saying goodbye to your political status in particularly in Kabushi as a member of parliament for those uh, that are living in that constituency? Not at all, not at all. Uh, you know, I have a very uh, strong uh, uh, legal team in uh, uh, who are representing, uh, who is presenting me, and um, uh, the battle is still on. Uh, whether the elections are uh, held tomorrow, uh, the battle is still on, and uh, we will see where we we'll end with these uh, uh, legal battles for Kabushi uh, constituency. But what I can assure the people of Kabushi constituency and uh, 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 Zambia in general, that uh, my political uh, uh, journey is not going to end in Kabushi uh, constituency. Do you, think this will be, do you think this will be a free and fair election without you on the ballot tomorrow? Not at all, not at all. How can you call them free and fair when uh, the corn court, the highest court, which uh, uh, we are relying upon today that uh, they gave uh, judgment uh, uh, considering that 21 days is 21 days. And it's the same court which uh, uh, ruled that uh, uh, nullification is, is not disqualification and uh, um, the ECZ ignored that would have uh, uh, would have been on the ballot myself with my colleague joseph uh, bonanza malange so that uh, we have a free and fair uh, elections in kabushi and kwacha do, do you and regret what, uh, do you regret honorable sambo i know we're running out of time but do you then now regret being caught up in issues that have to deal with election malpractice that the court uh, that led actually the court to nullify this particular seat i don't regret i don't regret because if uh, uh, i was involved in all those things i would have been disqualified from contesting a uh, kawushi seat but i don't regret because uh, it was not uh, Bowman Shosharusam or the bulldozer who participated in what they called uh, uh, the political or election malpractice. But I've received uh, information as well that uh, 
Miri Miu is being distributed in Kawushi constituency. Money is being distributed in Kawushi constituency. So I don't know which which uh, which, which was a common which was a, a common thing even still under the, the patriotic front. So it's no, just it's just, it's just used, something that that is not strange. What we used mm -hmm. no what we used to do uh, for us we were uh, helping our people. Uh, uh, in Kawushi constituency because we had a lot of uh, uh, groups which we are uh, we have been looking after uh, from 20 uh, 2013 so for for me uh, uh, Cheswa and uh, uh, Andrew uh, I'm a very proud uh, uh, member of former member of parliament for Kavushi constituency because there is no one who's going to beat my record. Let's see, Honorable, if we could pick you know, one or two calls via the number that is reflected on the screen and see what people are saying over the elections in Kavushi that are slated and Kwacha, which are slated uh, for tomorrow, the 21st of October 2022. But also, as, as we pick our first caller for tonight, uh, you know, Honorable Lusambo, two um, particular, uh, you know, uh, well, two seats now being nullified out of Parliament. Does this shake the the patriotic front moving forward? Because then this is a reduction in the number of seats by the patriotic front. Does this shake the patriotic front? And uh, I want you to speak, you know, uh, as member of the you know Central Committee as we uh, you know plan to begin to pick our cause, Director. Uh, not at all. Uh, the seat in Kavushi constituency and Kwacha, it has a, a, a different uh, uh, dynamics. Uh, for Kavushi, yes, it, the, the people, they will miss uh, the PF MP uh, in Kavushi, they will miss a PF MP in Kwacha. But the residents themselves, the, 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 the people matters in Kavushi constituency. If you go and do uh, land of sampling in Kabushi constituency, you see that uh, the PF has more numbers on the copper belt than any other political uh, party. So for us, we we'll miss the uh, two seats in parliament, but in terms of um, uh, political uh, maneuvers outside parliament, we have more numbers than any other political party. If no, no more numbers than any other, you know, you know, political party. J just before, you know, Cheswick, you know, could come in. Do we have a first caller? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. But quickly, as we pick our first caller, let's quickly look at some of the messages that people uh, say, you know, tonight on our, you know, Facebook uh, page. Uh, Chongo Mwango says, what dynamics does this man, you know, is talking about? Uh, Judy Teddy Che says, from bulldozer to chicken dozer, you know, I was sure. Uh, others uh, like uh, Abram Rooney, you know, Kapia says, uh, you know, which court? But also, on the Boman Sambo, others are saying that, look, why don't you now then just get to focus on family as opposed to uh, uh, getting to um, have political battles that you know that you cannot win which political battles are you talking about me i'm a politician i don't know the political battles which you are talking about because well, well, uh, others are saying that look you you, you go full, full throat on the president you attack the president you know and, and all these things D don't you think the bulldozer ought to tone down a little bit and focus on family uh you don't know what you're talking about you don't know what you're talking about the president himself is a politician actually the president will would love to have um, a person like Bowman to be his friend because uh, as a politician we need to have friends who are politicians because for us we talk about uh, real issues talk about uh, things which is happening in our communities we defend the people so uh the thing which you are saying attacking the president yeah i don't attack the president well, he, and he will be very shocked uh, actually both in, in opposition when now. You, well, well clearly i think honorable woman i'm going to be honest in this conversation clearly mm -hmm. when you're in opposition you called uh you know president haka in the a thief who privatized the resources of, of this country and even after he, he lost elections to call him a thief who, who is, uh, a, a corrupt this, man you call him a corrupt man 
Yeah, this is what I'm, to uh, I'm, I'm talking about, Andrew. You are not a politician. You won't understand our language. Eh? Uh, when we are in a, a political mood, we talk politics. And when we are back in our uh, family and friends mood, you'll find me mingling with the UPND. you you find me mingling with the other uh, political parties does not mean we are enemies we are not enemies we are colleagues we are brothers and sisters but uh, time allows for us to do politics to win numbers from our uh, the, the, the other side so that we can have more 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 numbers to our to our side by given a chance uh, representing <laughs> representing the people and when the people are saying we are not seeing uh, CDF in our constituencies. It is my responsibility to attack the government so that the government can pull up their socks and take CDF uh, in the in the respective. We are over hundred days. Of, we are, we are over, it, as we close, Honorable Boman Sam. We are over hundred days of the UPND being in office. What is your general overview of how the governance system of this country is being run so far? It's a wrong platform today. It's a wrong platform, um, uh, Andrew, for me to answer that question from you. What we're looking at was Kavushi and uh, and Kwacha. Ask me that question tomorrow. I'll answer you. Why? Why is it? How has it become a wrong platform? It's a it's a wrong it's a wrong platform. Uh, we, 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 the, the the mood of the people in Kavushi constituency, Kwacha. It's totally different and they will be shocked for for them to hear me answering that question because the question which they want me to answer it's about uh, the court cases tomorrow obviously uh, moving up, 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 up after tomorrow uh, we we obviously going to expect a new leader are we still going to see boma nusambo down in kawushi giving the support of vulnerable families like he did when he was member of parliament do we continue to still see you giving the people the vulnerable people of kabushi the support that you gave them when you were member of parliament despite them having a new leader i'm very powerful in kabushi constituency i'm very powerful in the coca Belt province in kabushi constituency alone i have eight councillors eight wards with eight councillors definitely my councillors will need support but they're no longer your councillors they are my councillors I'm, I'm pf they are pf councillors they are my councillors they are not upnd councillors they are my councillors pf councillors i am a member of parliament i'm the member of central committee i mean for for patriotic front those are my councillors eight of them in eight words and they will need support from me so definitely we are going to sit with my councillors in kabushi constituency and see how we are going to uh, help our people to continue helping our people in kabushi constituency you know kabushi constituency is a very unique constituency and I want you people to see the results which will come from Kavushi Constituency. Then you believe what I'm telling you uh, uh, now. So the eight councillors will be sitting with my uh, uh, ward officials and come up with a plan of how we are going to continue helping our people in Kavushi Constituency. Well, thank you so much for having joined the conversation, former Lusaka province minister, as well as former Kabushi uh, member of parliament, Honorable Boman Sambo. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.